everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna explain how am i editing my instagram photos so yeah hopefully you'll enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button also one thing before the video starts i'm actually recording the sound after i film the video because when i'm editing i just get really annoyed by talking or doing a call with someone and I knew that if I just do the voice while editing, I'll get really annoyed and it won't go well. And also, sorry, but it's almost 2 a.m. So this is why my grandma just died. <laughs> Okay guys, so here we got a photo, me, the photo that we're gonna edit today. So the photo already looks kind of nice, except a few little things that you can see. So we're gonna jump straight into actually editing it right now. Just saying that you should listen to some music while editing, it helps me a lot, as you can see in my example. I was listening to Violet Snowflower's video soundtrack which really helps me edit, to be honest, don't know why. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is actually to bring the photo and add her and then you can choose which part of the photos you want to show up, like you can just zoom in straight into the horses and you can just zoom in straight into the sky, you can see in my example in the video how to do it. And then there is something that I really like doing is just making the hearts look cuter and just make their eyes bigger if you get what I mean. You can see in the examples right now just watch and learn. I don't know how to explain you can just watch and that's it. Also another thing from some reason it looks kind of nice when I'm changing a bit the nose but it's kind of hard to do like I need to redo it so many times as you can see in the video I'm doing it once then I'm trying again it's just zoom out the nose if you get what I mean and make it tiny and then make it bigger again and it changed a bit how it looks as you can see and I don't know why I like doing it it's just it makes me feel like I actually did something. <laughs> the next thing is something that a lot of Star Stable players get really annoyed by. It's the hole in the hat and basically there is holes in the hat and I'm just gonna try to fix them. So I'm taking the color black of my hat and you can see what color is it. I'm just taking it and using the pen and just filling the hole in the same color as the hat so it will look like neutral. I don't understand why there is this bag like it's like the bridle in the neck and I also changed a little bit with some of the characters face so yeah also i'm changing a bit of the characters body types so it will look like more alive if you get what i mean oh my god i'm seeing the video while recording the sound and i'm seeing what i'm doing in the video so <laughs> that's funny so i'm changing a little bit from the characters body types so it will look like more alive like a normal girl so yeah also i'm always changing a bit the horses ears if you get what i mean you can see right now, I think that it's very cute how Star Stable made the Yorick Wild series and it was kind of my inspiration to my edits to make all the horses ears look special 
maximum warrant years and the year required years so you can see right now how am I doing it and it was kind of fair with the English thoroughbreds but I can promise you that with other horses it looks amazing and also I'm always changing the mane as you can see on the screen right now but with the English thoroughbreds there wasn't this connection I just couldn't do it for some reason maybe it was this hairstyle I don't know and also I really like changing a bit the hairstyle of the character if you get what I mean I'll show up on the screen an example if I'll have one and you can see how it's done I couldn't do it because I don't know I just couldn't do it today I did it in the middle of the night and I was really tired and didn't pay attention but after all you can actually see how I'm kind of doing it and then when the time finally came I started blurring which is my least favorite part of editing because it's hell boring it's hell long it's just the most stupid thing ever yeah I know there is a quicker way to blur but I don't know why it's just not working very well to me so I'm just going to speed up all the blurring part just telling you all of that I already edit this photo like I'm I'm editing this video and recording my voice after editing this photo after I done editing and I can tell you all it took me like 40 minutes to blur this photo because usually I have only one character in a photo and I have less details that I need to like be careful to not blur and this time there was just so many and it was just so boring and long and yeah <laughs> also before the speeding up part begins I just wanna show you something you can see what time is it when I started blurring and I'm gonna show you all after the speed up what time it was when I done blurring finally
Okay guys, so the moment have finally came. I've done boring and let's go check how much time it took me. Okay, so that's a lot of time that was wasted. Like, it took me, I think, 50 minutes, which is a lot of time that was wasted only of blurring. So right now I'm just going to do the last things and then just send it to my phone so I'll be able to post it. Okay, so in this part, I'm basically just checking if there's anything else that I need to fix. And then I'm just finally saving my photo. And in this part, we just choose a name. It doesn't really matter the name, just choose something random and that's it. Yeah. <laughs>